Hello students. Today we will learn statistical hypothesis. Statistical hypothesis is a part of statistical inference. And the statistical inference has two parts. One is estimation of parameters and other one is statistical hypothesis. So we know estimation of parameters it based on the estimation of the original population parameters that is either it may be population mean or it may be population variance or standard deviation on the based on some sample that is first we uh, draw some samples from the original population we check the sample statistic as a sample mean or sample standard deviation or uh, something like this and we will test the original mean or original standard deviation of the population on the basis of this sample mean or sample standard deviation now what is statistical hypothesis statistical hypothesis is the checking of some statement if i say something how true i am that is my statement is true or acceptable or my statement is false or rejectable so if i uh, state something that is the mean of the population is 100 or mean of the population is uh, suppose 20 then am I right how 20 the mean original mean 20 is acceptable this is called statistical hypothesis that is we have to give some statement we have to state something and you have to check my statement is acceptable or my statement is rejectable Now, look at this picture. A man says that if I study 5 hours in a day, then I will get 9 CGPA. That is, he just put a statement. So that is, if he studies 5 hours in a day, or 5 hours average in a day, then he will get 9 CGPA. That is, we have to check his statement right now whether he is saying the right statement or he is saying the wrong statement so how can he check it now suppose he studied every day for 5 hours and appeared in the exam he will appear in the exam and then if he gets A plus or suppose 9 CGPA then we say that hypothesis is true but if he gets less than a plus or less than 9 cgpa or if you fail the exam then we will say the hypothesis is false so if i say something and after the result after the end result we will say that the result is true or the result is false that is it can be checked after the experimentation but how can i confirm or how can someone confirm at the initial stage because it is very easy to test because if I say something if I say some statement and at the end of the experimentation everyone can say that is whether the statement is true or the statement is false because after the experimentation it is very easily it is very easy to say because already the outcome is in my hand but before the experimentation or at the initial state how can I check the statement is true or the statement is false so whether the hypothesis is true or false without waiting the result is the main fund of statistical hypothesis now the testing of hypothesis is some inference or the values of the population parameters that are already considered that is if this man say that m is the mean of the population already he considers that m is the mean of the population but we don't know m whether m is the mean of the population or not so we consider that m0 is the original mean so m0 is totally unknown but m is the statement that is suppose m equal to 100 if i say 100 is the lifetime of a production that is a lifetime of the tube which has been produced by a company there is a company produces thousand tubes and we say that 
each and every tube the average lifetime of each and every tube is uh, 100 months so it is just a statement so we don't know whether it is 100 months or not we have to check it so we have to uh, determine whether my statement that is this 100 month is true that is acceptable or it is rejected it should be rejected so now that uh, in case of testing of hypothesis there are two types of hypothesis one is null hypothesis and another one is alternative hypothesis so to test this uh, hypothesis uh, this problem it uh, should be started with uh, these two statements that is we have to set a null hypothesis and a alternative hypothesis first then we, we have to check uh, according to some test statistic available to us we have to check the statistic and either we accept the hypothesis or we will reject the hypothesis so uh, according to the initial uh, stage that is this man says that m is the population mean and the original population mean is m0 so now we compare this m and m0 and we set the statistic like this first we set the null hypothesis so what is the null hypothesis we say the man says that m is the mean of the population and the original mean of the population is m0 so the null hypothesis it is h0 such that m equal to m0 that is the null hypothesis we have to set it first then we set the alternative hypothesis so what is the alternative hypothesis it was h1 that is if m equal to m0 is the null hypothesis whatever opposite of this hypothesis is considered as alternative hypothesis so m equal to m0 if it is equal to sign so opposite of equal to sign is um, there may be not equal to sign may be greater than or it may be less than sign so this three that is h1 m not equal to m0 it may be the alternative hypothesis h1 m greater than m0 it may be also an alternative hypothesis or m less than m0 it also may be another alternative hypothesis so we will test either for m not equal to m0 or greater than or for less than sign any one of them so if we test m not equal to m0 that is for not equal to sign it is called two tail test if i test for greater than sign that is the uh, stated mean is greater than the original mean we have to test it that is it is called uh, right tail test and if the mean that is a stated mean is less than the original mean then it is called a left tail test now come to errors in statistical hypothesis so what is a error so we have to test something now we are testing the hypothesis whether it is true or whether it is false it is whether the hypothesis is accepted or the hypothesis is rejected is to be rejected so obviously the testing there will be some human error so if the in the statistical hypothesis testing also also there exists some error there are two types of error in statistical hypothesis testing one is type 1 error and another one is type 2 error now what is type 1 error look at this null hypothesis is true so we say that, that uh, we infer that null hypothesis is actually true here but we we'll reject the null hypothesis we should accept it we should accept it but null hypothesis is true but we reject it okay so it is an error so this kind of error is called a type 1 error when null hypothesis is true and we will reject it and type 2 error just like this null hypothesis is false but we fail to reject the null hypothesis it means we accept the null hypothesis whether it is false so the false one the null hypothesis is false and we accept it it is called type 2 error and the null hypothesis is true and we reject it it is called type 1 error thank you and the next day we will start some examples some test statistic how to test the uh, how to test the hypothesis according to z test t test and chi square test so thank you for now thanks for watching the video